Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode one of my Neo Network SMP Let's Play. That's right guys, I am no longer on a single player world playing survival. I'm on a world that you can join. IP in the description and in the top pinned comment. Come play with me. Maybe check out my base. Now I'm gonna try to keep my base coordinates hidden so we don't get like an absolute crazy number of people around me. Um, but I do want to set up a couple like public trading outposts where I can meet up with people. Oh, okay, this is not a good start. This is not a good start. Please, I'm fighting with my fists and this is not working well. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be oh, okay. <laughs> is the spider gonna win really? Please do not win, spider. Please. I wish the I, w I wish I had a dog friend to defend me. But yeah, let's get a tree's worth of wood and let's get started. Okay, so we have a little bit of wood. And it seems like a decent cave is down there. And I'm not sure if I want to live underground or I want to live above ground. Uh, but I have this like tickling feeling that I want to live underground. And uh, usually when I live underground, you guys really seem to like it. And uh, I tend to agree. I like living underground. It's just the only like qualm I have with it is if I want to like, you know, get food and stuff, it tends to get a little bit more difficult. Um, and yeah, I'm going to kill these cows in this area because I don't know if I'm really going to live here. And we can definitely find cows in other spots too. But let's collect a little bit of stone. Let's get a little bit of stone tools going. And then uh, we'll reconvene and try to figure something out. Okay, I am going to start cooking up some food as well. Uh, because I'd prefer to not die. Um, I still only have a heart and a half. So as quick as this thing can smell, I would really appreciate it, Mr. Furnace. Okay, thank you. There we go. So this area does look pretty cool. And there, Ooh, there's a jungle nearby, which is nice. Got the acacia... The taiga biome, not the taiga, <laughs> the savanna over there, and the oak forest, and obviously some mountains. Now, I do like mountainside homes. I think those are nice as well, um, but I think for just right now, we're probably going to live in a pretty basic uh, setup. Obviously, you know, it's the first episode. I'm not trying to build something crazy, um, but there's going to be a lot of focus on building, I think, in this SMP um, or in this Let's Play because we can actually show the builds off to everyone on the server, right? <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Now, when you're playing on here, you can claim land, so people can't like mess with your stuff or steal your stuff, which makes this really nice. Um, but I'm gonna try to make this as like normal as a normal Minecraft Let's Play can be. We just got another level of wood cutting, nice. So there's a few little additions on the server, but for the most part, it's just purely vanilla. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Now, keep in mind that you can also play this if you're on Bedrock. So not only can Java players play, but we've made sure to include everyone on phones and consoles and stuff like that. Again, the info is down below. Okay, so let's go. I want to go in this hole over here, but I'm afraid because I don't really have a lot of food. So maybe now that I have more stuff, we can smelt more and maybe find some coal in here. I don't know, it seems kind of treacherous because it's just like, okay, there is coal down there. So I think we should be fine. Let's, let's, let's get down there. Okay, this is awesome. So this looks like a big vein of coal, which is going to be super helpful. I'm also going to do something that's going to make me and everyone else happy. I do hear a cave around us, which could be nice. Um, I think it's like right over there. So maybe we'll go explore that too. Okay, so I kind of decided to stay away from that cave for now. And it uh, looks like all the steak that we did have is smelted up and we have 42 coal so that was quite a large pocket of coal which is nice um, but let's go do a little bit of exploring because i obviously want to find like a piece of land i'm proud of to live on and uh might as well go grab that coal up there as well nice okay so hopefully this is a big one too and uh, now that we're up here we get a good view of the land i really like this mountain but i've decided i think i do want to live underground it's going to be kind of an it's going to be difficult but i think we can do it and i have a cool idea to do it too Okay, well that's all the coal there, and we almost have a stack, and we literally just started. So, well, we do have a wishing well coin too, which might be helpful later on. Something we can use at spawn. Um, so, the way I wanted to do this is I kind of want to just go like straight down and fall into some water, and then make a base at bedrock level. Now, to do that, it's going to require a lot of stuff that I don't have, so we're probably going to have to go caving soon, so that's what I'm looking for now. Oh, this looks promising, guys. It's We were right up there getting coal. And this cave looks... Oh, it looks so big. Oh, there's a lot of mobs in there. Um, I don't know if I can handle something like that. But maybe over here there's something. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll find something before too long. Ooh, a nice little cave. Maybe this one. 
Okay, so I'm over here in the savanna, and I seem to have stumbled upon something that may have some iron, because that's really what I need is probably iron, so I can dig a big hole down to bedrock. And I don't really have a plan after that. Um, just make a base down at bedrock level. Maybe <laughs> that's too big of a goal for the first episode, but I'm sure that we can do it. Okay, I'm, I'm not being left in peace. These mobs are absolutely vicious. Ugh. Why is a wooden sword so weak? <laughs> I, need to, I should have made a stone one. That would have helped things a lot, but I was not thinking. And I unfortunately have only a wooden one. Yeah. At least we have a lot of coal, man. Look at all this coal, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've been looking around. I haven't really seen any iron. Maybe down this way we'll get lucky. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun owning an SMP server at this level. Um, oh no, it's night. <laughs> That's not good. Because uh, you can always look in the chat. Like, if I'm being boring while recording, you just look at the chat. You can always find people talking about... Oh, I cannot deal with you right now, Mr. Zombie. Even with the crits, I'm not doing anything. Hey, look, we got a little bit of money for grinding some mobs. Nice. Um, now, you can use money to buy stuff like claims. So, you get one claim to start out with. And then the claims are pretty cheap. So, you can just buy some claims. Um, and those are going to protect whatever you build. Because we want to make sure and do that, because I know people would come here and try to mess with me otherwise. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the night trying not to die. <laughs> and then just staying underground, because there is absolutely... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I defer to the corner. Goodbye. Aha, this will save me. Now, I, now I'm probably fine, right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, they were absolutely ready to get me out of the gate. You know what? No. I will not bow down to some silly mobs. I will bring out my skills that I've learned. Creepers? No problem. Oh! Okay, most everything is cleared out in here. Um, the only thing I'm having a lot of trouble... This is a really cool area. Um, but the only thing I'm having trouble finding is iron. Because that's kind of holding us back, man. Because I don't want to mine deep slate with the stone pickaxe. And to be frank with you, I don't even know if you can... But if you indeed can, I'm sure it's so slow that it's like not even worth it. Iron! Just right down the hallway! <laughs> We're, you know what? We're gonna call this cave a hallway. Just don't question it. Okay, now while that's smelting, let's see if maybe... Nope, there's nothing over there. <laughs> well, now the big question is, do we really want a pickaxe or do we really want a sword? Because we're not getting a break from these mobs. So I'm going... You know what? I'm gonna do something kind of risky. I am going to go straight to getting an iron pickaxe, and I'm going to hope that I can just find iron if I just make a hole, and then I just cover said hole, put a torch down, and strip mine. Maybe this will work. Of course, the one time I decided to strip mine, it's literally all tire right? but hey, that's okay. And if you're wondering, like, when I break a block where it's going, um, it just goes straight into your inventory. That helps with server lag, and it's also really nice because you don't end up losing a whole lot of stuff. Well, I found coal, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I found a new cave, and this is already very deadly. I don't like this at all. Yep, go ahead and explode. Now, the creepers, thankfully, don't destroy stuff. Oh, this is a... Oh, iron! Okay, okay, I can do this. Oh, I can't do this. That's so big. What am I supposed to do? How come the only caves I find are the new generation that are so big, dude? I don't, I don't know if I'm prepared. I keep almost dying. Ah! Well, thankfully, the server has keep inventory on, uh, but I keep going back to my spawn point, and I do not know where that cave was, so maybe we'll just... Uh, we'll try to find our way back. Um, but yeah, the server does have keep inventory on, which is really nice. You know, you don't end up dying and losing all your stuff or having to go back and get it, because you never really lose your stuff, if we're honest. The only time I can think of in recent memory I've lost my stuff is if you, like, die in lava. Uh, but even that doesn't happen too often. Okay, so I believe if I go in here, yeah, and then I were to go, yeah, so that's my wooden sword, right? I threw all that stuff in there. I mine down here and strip mine. I did not light this up at all. And then the cave was somewhere down here. Yep, down here and to the right. Okay. Now, hopefully another creeper does not fall in here. That one appears to be gone, obviously, because it exploded. But you see me getting all this coal just because I always have a problem where I don't get enough coal. 
Oh, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I could definitely do it, um, but it's gonna require a little bit of a little bit of ingenuity here, you know, from an expert Minecraft player, as you guys know me as. You know, I'm just such an expert. Um, I actually get a lot of mean comments telling me how bad I am at the game, and I'm like, dude, I really don't care. Oh, <gasps> we have a leather hat now. Look at us, fashionable and protected. Okay, well, I've made it to the iron successfully. Um, it's not really even that much, but it is something because a lot, this is a lot for us because right now we have zero iron in total. Um, but yeah, like a, a good example of why this is helpful is I can be over here and I can mine the iron and uh, it doesn't just like, you know, fall into the lava. So that looks like more iron. So I'm just going to make my way down here safely. It, it'll be somewhat of a trip trying to get back out, but that'll be okay. I'm not super concerned about that. Um... Can I place down there, please? No, I have to do this. Ugh. I don't even know how I made that one. Well, it's just one piece? Oh. Okay, well, we still have this one over here. There is a zombie to contend with, but I think... I think I can handle it. Okay, and maybe we can just make it where they can't get up here. Yeah, there we go. See, look, I'm playing smart, guys. I'm playing smart. Nice. So we have 12 iron, or 4 iron pickaxes, which is super helpful. Why is there so many mobs over there? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and block that off. And, yeah, we're just going to block them off. So we're going to go the opposite direction for now. That does not seem like a fun direction to go in. Please, good sir. Why? That's not fun. Yep, well, this would have been a situation where I probably would lose my items. Oh, no. All right, well, we're just gonna chalk that up to a loss. Let's definitely not go back in that cave and let's see what's in this direction. Maybe something better. I do see a little bit of a, a crevice up there in the mountain. And you know, the higher up a cave is, the more iron it's gonna have. So let's put our focus to getting up there if we can. I know this is the best block to build with, right? Especially on the side of a mountain. Nice. Okay, there is one skeleton. I will take that over having like four skeletons and four creepers. Oh, and there's something over here too. Lava? Yeah, maybe maybe some iron in there? Hello? Please? Good sir? Do you have something for me? You have coal? That is a worthy contender, but no. There's, there's no iron. Oh, now this, however, if this doesn't have iron, I will be shocked. Nice little kind of dripstone cave. There we go. I see one piece of iron. Anything else? Uh, maybe, but we'll, we'll, let, let's at least get this. Is it really just one piece? I'm getting scammed, I swear. Yes, dude, let's go. Please be a full eight pocket. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. So we have enough. We can probably get down to bedrock. Um, the only thing we really need now is like some oak saplings. We have four, but just to be 100% sure that we can get enough to be sustainable down there. I'm planning on like moving down there and only coming back up when it's like absolutely necessary. Like I want to be I want to be an underground person. Like literally never come up unless like we need to get some animals or something. And that'll be the only situation. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I got what I needed from that furnace to get another iron pickaxe. Let's explore a few more caves up here because I imagine we're going to go through just an absurd number of these iron pickaxes. So I'm trying to be somewhat prepared before we move underground. The way I don't have to like, oh, that just, that just screams danger. No, I'm not, not going to try to put myself in a bunch of situations where I will die just because I have keep inventory on. That just feels kind of cheaty to me. Um, cause usually I don't play with it on. I don't, I don't prefer to, for it to be on, but when we pulled the communities, everybody wanted to keep inventory on. So we just, okay, let's just avoid that. <laughs> I've already hidden. How many times have I died? Like four times already? Jeez. Okay. Well, while I'm recovering from my skeletal injuries, I see down there a nice exposed cave. Now it looks safe. So I'm going to go over to there. And let's just hope that maybe there's something really good in there. I'm seriously going to die. Maybe I can... Oh, thanks. At least my acrobatics level went up. So what stuff like that does is eventually when your acrobatics level gets high enough, um, sometimes you'll have a chance of like avoiding fall damage. Like you'll roll out of the fall. Um, and then when you mine more, you have this ability called Super Breaker. And I'll show you... I'll show you what that does. You shift, right click, and you can break stuff... 
pretty fast for like a short period of time. So it's kind of helpful if you're like mining ores or something, but you only get it like once every like, yeah, I have 234 seconds left. So there's nothing in here and I don't particularly want to go to the really dark side. So I'm going to go just like collect some wheat seeds and just basic stuff like that that we're going to need while we're underground and maybe kill a few cows and I'll meet you when I find a place I want to burrow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is insane, dude. There is coal and there is iron. So I am going to go to... Oh, I fell on the dripstone. Okay, I was like, how did I take fall damage, dude? It's like, no way. I'm also... We have one potato. We don't have any food. This is just... Oh. Looks so nice though. Okay, thankfully I have found a ton of pigs. I do see a beehive there. I'm not really interested that in that right now because I don't have silk touch, so it wouldn't really mean anything anyways. Um, but I'm definitely gonna collect all the pork and I see some cows up there too. Cause like I'm really I'm like on the precipice of dying. If I get hit by anything, I'm a goner. So I gotta try to be super careful while collecting this beef. And eventually, I guess I'll just bring some cows underground, something like that, because I don't really see of another way for us to get like an enchanting table and stuff going. Obviously, you're going to have to get leather. So we'll bring some cows underground at a later date. Okay, well, I have quite a bit of seeds now, and we have quite a bit of food going, so I do feel comfortable, I guess, just burrowing underground. Um, it's also night, so like this would probably be as good as time as ever to just start digging. Um, we're, I'm not going to do anything fancy. Like, I'm not even going to leave any semblance of me going underground. I'm literally just going to dig three blocks. And then I'm just going to... We'll activate Super Breaker. And we'll just start digging. Let's do it. Meet you guys down below. Okay, a little bit of an update. I'm scared because it looks like we're about to burrow into a cave. Oh, oh that could have killed us. But hopefully this can get us down deeper. Now our inventory is also full. So what can we throw out? Oh, we can definitely combine those. Um, I mostly want to keep everything. Maybe maybe collecting the lapis right now will just be what we... Hmm, yeah, we'll just collect the lapis. Okay, we should reach bedrock any second. And the hope is... Oh, there we go. So while I'm down here, and I only want to be... I want to be at the top layer of bedrock. So it looks like we got lucky and dug down too far. I want to be at this level, I believe. Um, hopefully while we're digging around down here, we can just find ourselves some sort of like, I don't know, vein of diamonds, magically, so that we can hopefully build a diamond pickaxe, because, yeah, this is going to take forever, even with the super breaker, which really doesn't do a whole lot, at least when your mining level is only like 64, you can see it at the top of the screen. Now when it gets up to really high level, you can do that for like 10 or 15 seconds at a time, and that becomes really helpful, especially with an efficiency 5 uh, diamond pickaxe, it's like having a little portable beacon with you. It's really fun to grind for. Okay, so I have like, you know, an okay sized room dug out. Probably gonna make it one block wider. Nope, I'm not gonna make it one block wider because I can't. So let's just start smelting some coal and then we'll finish smelting our food as well. And we should probably get some chests going. I just wanna have a little base of operations for now because the first part of this is gonna be like an hour of me just digging because uh, there's really not much else I can do. I need to be able to actually, like, you know, grow these saplings. And I realize now we only have seven dirt. So hopefully we hit a pocket of dirt down here, too. So I need to make this room at least seven blocks high so that I can start growing oak trees down here, which is going to be our only source of wood unless we find a mine shaft. So that's why I'm making this room so ridiculously tall. Now, supposedly this room will be big enough. Thankfully, there isn't a piece of bedrock right there. So five by five by seven. And obviously we can't have any of these like, you know, chests and stuff in here. So I'm going to build a little separate room over here where we can start our base, ideally. Something like that. I want to live underground because some of my best bases that I've ever built have all been underground. And I really want to follow that trend. So I am just going to make an underground colony. Okay, so I got a little bit of a area set up. I'm going to test this theory out. Is this room big enough to grow a tree? Um, I don't know if I want to waste all of my bone meal on this, but... <gasps> it worked! And with every piece of bone meal. <laughs> okay, so we do in fact have a tree down here. 
Now, my only big question is, will we get enough saplings to, like, multiply here? So, I'll let that decay. And we still have three saplings to toy with. And I'm going to go ahead and just start the timer on it growing now and plant that one. So, if we get at least two, then we're good. So, I'll see how many we get. Hopefully, at least two. Well, we got one, <laughs> which is something. Um, at least we didn't, like, have a, you know, a loss there. So, we do have one sapling. Now, the idea is to make a bunch of these little rooms, like, over here. I will make another one of these rooms over here. And so on and so forth. I want to make this base kind of modular. And this will be our, like, tree farm area. Now, over here, I'm just kind of digging out an area. I put some double chests here with our blocks and all of our items. And then over here, of course, we have our furnaces. And basically, the goal is to make a big room in here that we can call home for now. And, yeah, kind of exciting. We're getting definitely some good progress going. And I have a good feeling. I have a very good feeling. Now, before I forget, I am going to view the chunk boundaries, so F3 plus G, and I'm going to figure out where we need our house to be. So I'm going to, first of all, go into slash claims, and I'm going to click nearby claims, and you can see no one around us has any claims. We're going to claim the chunk that we're standing in. So this is now our chunk. I'm going to do slash settings, and I'm going to disable the chunk claim particles so we don't have to see that. And then I also want to make sure and like claim every area around here. So we don't have any claims right now. So I'm going to buy as many as I can. Uh, we do have 16,000. So that'll be six. Okay. And then I definitely want to claim this chunk as well. So we're just going to make sure we claim all of these chunks. That way <laughs> no one tries to mess with our base. And it looks like did we already have this claim. Mm, yeah. Okay. So we have both of these claims. Good, good, good. And that means... Yeah, so you can see we have the chunk we're standing in, and then we have this chunk as well. So now this is all claimed by me, and nobody can come down here, but I am hiding, right? Like, I, I don't want anyone to find me, so I'm going to definitely try to hide as best as I can. I haven't found any diamonds. I did have to make another iron pick, but so far so good. Good progress is being had, that's for sure. And our stuff is now safe. Oh, thank God. I was deciding I want to make this room one block wider, because I feel like this is, you know, wide enough in this direction. And I start mining up here, and look what we found, guys. Will it be an eight pocket? Will it at least have three diamonds? These are all unanswered questions I have to have the answer. Oh, I think it's going to be an eight or... Oh, baby, a triple. Let's go, dude. Okay, okay. This is very nice, because uh, Deep Slate is just super duper hard to break. Like, look at this. I have been doing that for like 15 minutes. Now, all I have to do, let me make sure, because wood is kind of a rare resource. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't waste any wood. Let's see how much faster a diamond pickaxe is. Now, we'll still use the rest of that one, of course. Um, but... Oh, I'm so happy. And I'm going to make it even better by using the rest of this one. And then it'll feel even better. Okay, well, the house area is dug out. And now I'm going to start by digging out. Oh, I dug that one too wide. I'm going to start by digging out another area for us to grow more trees because this is going to be our main like hold back is that we don't have enough wood. So hopefully this tree grows soon because my ideas for in here are basically kind of like my standard house, except we'll, we'll, we'll make it look good. Um, but one way you can really spice up your underground homes is by putting some support columns in the corners. And I want to make a floor material that really pops with the bedrock because it's kind of cool, right? Like you can't ever build with bedrock, but integrating it into your builds always is fun and a challenge. Mm, I knew we'd come into this problem at some point. The middle block <laughs> of this room is bedrock, so we can't plant a sapling in here. Um, and now I could raise all these rooms up by one block. That might be what we do because um, it's kind of... That would be, <laughs> that would kind of suck because then we can't do like a perfect grid. So let's actually do that. I know this is not the material that I'm, I'm breaking, um, but I'm just going to raise all these rooms up by one. I know I said I wouldn't use it till it's gone, but it's so much faster. And I'm going to leave this one here just like this for now since I already planted it um, because I, I'm going to make sure it will grow. Um, just because I don't want to reset the timer on the growth for that one. But all future rooms will be one block up. And th that'll be fine, right? Like, and that'll also avoid this problem in the future. It's broken! Oh, thank God. Now we get to go on to the fast stuff. And oh, I don't have any super breaker, but... Oh, that's so nice. Yes. 
But yeah, I'm the kind of creator that thrives on feedback, so if you guys have any ideas for the series or anything you want to see me do specifically, especially since we're having kind of an underground society, I would really appreciate it. And since we're on an SMP, we can also do a lot of fun stuff too, like interact with other players, hang out with fans, and uh, just let me know what you guys want to see. I'd love to uh, read your feedback and integrate it into the series. Thank you. Okay, there we go. The room has been broken out. And I also realize now that I don't have very much dirt, um, which does make this somewhat tricky, but luckily you can find dirt underground in large quantities, so it's not that hard to get more of it, but I'm just saying I don't have any right now. <laughs> so we'll have to we'll have to deal with that problem as it comes, but now at least we have two trees going. And then like I said, I want to figure out some sort of floor pattern that works with the bedrock. And maybe it could be something like this, the polished deep slate. I don't know how that looks. It actually ends up looking pretty cool. Um, and then if I had a stone cutter, I believe there's a couple of other things. I'm not sure why I opened the furnace. I believe there's a couple other variants. That's, wait, stone, stone cutter. Oh, I know I need, oh, that's right. Mm, okay, I do have some cobblestone, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure I just need some of this. I'm like 99% sure. You know what? We'll just smelt enough for one piece of coal. There we go. This is a rare find. I somehow found a piece of iron all the way down here. Um, that's definitely not something you're gonna find very commonly just because we're so deep. So I figured I'd show that. But yeah, this, this is what I need. Those three pieces. I'm like 99% sure I know the recipe. It's either this. Yeah, okay. Or it's gonna be slabs. Let's see, is there something I can do with this stuff? Oh, I can make it in a chiseled deep slate. Deep slate tiles. Let's just make a piece of each and see which one turns out better. So let's scroll back up and make one of these. Okay, so which one looks cooler? Um, I really like that one, but I think this one wins out. And this one is called the what? Deep slate tiles. Okay, so we'll use deep slate tiles. They're a little bit darker too, so I like the way they look. They really pop. Okay, so I just made a bunch of deep slate tiles. Now obviously we're gonna have to move all this stuff back too. Uh, but this will lead us to a really cool floor. And for the walls, I'm probably just gonna do oak wood. Now I don't have enough at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I d oh, the tree just grew. Nice, okay, cool. So maybe we'll have enough now? Probably not. Um, but we're definitely going to be using oak wood. And while we're waiting on the other trees to grow, what I'm going to do off camera is just dig out more of those little tree growth rooms. I don't even know what to call them. Tree... Oh, what's that word? I don't know. We're just going to dig more of the rooms we're growing trees out of. And uh, we should have quite a bit. It's interesting having bedrock on the floor. It, it, it really is, because I never have done a base like that. And uh, kind of excited to see how it turns out. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to move this stuff back. Because it's not going to work right here. Oh, no, my inventory. Anyways. Hmm. Yeah, that tree didn't give us any... <gasps> no way. I was going to say, that tree didn't give us any saplings. The last piece did. Okay, well, we got lucky, but I'm getting kind of scared because I'm not getting a lot of extra saplings. It's kind of weird. And now, also, before I forget, we're going to raise up this floor just by one block. Also, probably want to put torches in here so we don't end up spawning mobs. Um, and we're going to raise that floor up by one block because we want to make it in line with the rest of them. Now, you may be wondering, well, Neo, your house is down by one block. And I'm going to introduce you into something you may have not heard of before, but it's going it, to it's gonna blow your mind. So let's see. Can we make deep slate tile stairs? Boom. Okay, guys. Well, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. And we now have a total of five, sa four saplings. I can't count. We have four saplings planted. None have grown yet. So maybe we can find like a skeleton near us. I recall hearing something, some sort of commotion over in this direction. And uh, I mean, we just have to wait for these to grow because I want to make, you know, the walls in here or something. I may just leave the ceiling this. I'm not really sure. But I am going to dig in this direction because I'm 99% sure I heard a cave. Okay, well, I did indeed hear something. Was it just lava that I heard, or was it a, a full cave around said lava? I'm not sure. Um, it sounded like it's just lava, so maybe... 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something in there <laughs> beyond just lava, but I don't think so. Please, man, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Oh, okay, so the lava is flowing. No, that's the edge of the lava pocket. Okay, we need to go even higher. Even higher. Because, yeah, I hear lava all around me. That's why I was digging to my right. Maybe there's something to this. I mean, hey, it's my only hope, and I do see something. Now, if I had a water bucket, you know what I need? I need water anyways, and I have to have two water sources to make an infinite one. So we're going to donate to the cause, and we're going to make two buckets. Hopefully there's a cave in here, and hopefully it has two water sources. I have so much cobbled deep slate, man. Look at my diamond pickaxe. It's already halfway broken, and we're not even done with the first episode. Like I said, you, you guys were begging me for like a normal long play series, and the SMP on my server, which I'm playing on, just launched. So I figured, you know what? This is perfect timing. Normal Minecraft, long let's plays. Okay, that looks nice. That looks nice. Let's let's get over there. Okay, this looks somewhat promising. Please tell me. <laughs> no. Tell me this is not okay. I was gonna say because sometimes caves fake generate, and you can find little extensions. Okay, please tell me this isn't actually. Okay, this looks way too square. Is there something in here? Oh come on, dude. Please. Okay, there's some redstone. Okay, I hear more lava, and lava is on what level? Just so I know where to dig. Okay, so it's two blocks down from where... No, one block down from over here. And it's over in, like, this direction. Okay, so maybe we'll find a big cave near here. I don't know. Hey, okay. <gasps> An actual cave cave. Kind of. It's at least... Okay, I almost walked into the lava. It's at least something. Okay, and that's what I need. I need at least something. We'll go down in that direction in a second because it looks like it's harder to navigate. Let's for now explore this way. I'm looking for any diamonds, anything of any kind. I'm not getting so lucky thus far. Dirt would be nice too, but it seems to just be a giant. Yeah. Man, I remember in the old days before I knew that like water buckets could make obsidian. I would travel through these with just like stone like this and it took ages. And now I remember why, why water is so nice. Because this takes so much longer. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll explore in here and see if we can find something. Surely there's some <laughs> dirt or something. Dirt would be absolutely game-changing. Ooh, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm smelling some diamonds down here. You know where I'm smelling diamonds, actually? I'm smelling diamonds right down in here. You may be wondering yourself, well, Neo, how, how, how are you going to get down there, buddy? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I'm out of cobbled deep sleep. Okay, back to the house. Okay, have any trees grown? Any trees been nice? Nope, nothing's grown. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully, we have, like, more of this than we'll ever need. So this this is this is kind of nice, you know? Now we have a little preset of materials to work with. Well, like I said, right down here, it's going to be some diamonds. Come on. Please. I can't even see them. This has got to be. I've never been wrong before. There's nothing. Is it risky to do this? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, if I was right about that, can you imagine the hype in chat? Well, we don't have a chat, but like, the hype in the comments. Because sometimes if you just play stupid and do random stuff, you can just like find diamonds. Okay, we have no luck with that. Alright, I'm going to continue down here. Okay, well this appears to connect to some sort of dripstone something. I will definitely take more iron. You betcha. I will definitely take more. Well, there's dripstone somewhere around here. Maybe if we were to dig, like, up, there would be a dripstone cave. I really don't know, but that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. So it's back to the drawing board, and we're going to navigate the other direction in here, which is over here. And I'll stay recording, because I'm pretty sure this leads into something bigger. Maybe? Yeah, <laughs> not so much. All right, well, you know that direction back over here where I said this looks much harder to navigate? That is where I'm going, because it goes way back in there. So surely, if there's going to be diamonds, they're going to be hidden in the back of a lava cave, right? Wrong. They're not here. They're not here at all. Okay, well, <laughs> I can't say I didn't try with that. I can't say I didn't try. So I guess it's just back to the strip mines then, because those do not look like they have much. 
So we can just strip mine until we find a big fat cave and uh, or some diamonds. Hey, well I came back here to see if we got lucky. And what do you guess? We did get lucky. Now, there is one sort of issue I'm having. I think I need to take all the torches out of here except for like, you know. Sorry. Take all the torches out of those little tree rooms except for the ones that are at the base of the sapling because we're losing leaves. And like, although that may seem insignificant, I don't think it is in the grand scheme of things. So we're gonna just leave the torches that are on the ground because they provide ample lighting, but I don't want to keep losing those those leaf blocks because those are like integral, right? We really need more. And no, you don't actually get less if you break them by hand. I know some people say, well, if you let them you know, break naturally, you'll actually end up getting more. And that's been tested like a bunch of times and it's just not true. You don't end up actually getting any more. Maybe it seems like it, but they did the math. And the math don't lie. At least, I hope not. I almost failed almost every math course I ever took, but uh, that's besides the point, okay? It, it, it wasn't me who was doing the math. No, no, no. It was mathematicians, I'm sure, from Harvard with doctorates in differential equations. Something like that. Okay, there's already an oak sapling, and let's see if we get another. We got four. Okay, now you didn't see them drop because they go straight in your inventory, but we got four, which is really good. That means even if three of these trees don't give us any saplings, we have three more chances. And uh, who's to say I won't expand this even more? Now, obviously I will, um, not right now, but at some point we'll definitely make that even bigger, which will be a super huge boost. Dude, let's go. So you guys remember there was lava right here, so I had to take a little detour. And I want to make sure to light this up, because that's the last thing I need is mobs. I went on a little detour, thought we could go around the lava, and thankfully, we found more diamonds! So we're actually getting some progress, dude. I thought living underground was going to be boring and slow, but no, man. <gasps> oh, give me the diamond! Okay, bye-bye. I don't even think I dug all the way around it, to be honest with you. Nope, I didn't, so we're going to keep going in that direction. We'll just fill that up and pretend we never went there. Okay, so we don't really have to worry about food, like in the immediate future but like pretty soon we're gonna have to plant these wheat seeds and we don't have very much dirt so the only option is gonna be I guess I guess you can't find dirt lower um, at least I don't think so like pockets of dirt so I say we make like a staircase maybe like right here and sort of go up into the stone layer and start trying to find dirt there that's gonna be the game plan I didn't even check but did we get another tree grown no, we didn't, but we gotta stay on top of these trees, man. We gotta stay on top of them. Okay, well, I panic used gravel for the first time ever. Gravel, you're worth something now. Yay, I love gravel. I'm kidding. Uh, but look, I found a cave. Um, I was digging up to that stone layer, and, uh... Oh my gosh! Why is there so many mobs? Why is there so... I don't even know what happened. I think the skeleton shot the creeper, and now they're infighting, which I'm very thankful for. Okay, there's three skeletons. I'm not gonna try to deal with that. We're just gonna let them continue fighting each other. <laughs> okay, we're dead. Okay, well, luckily we're back home. Did any trees grow while we were gone? <laughs> there was utter chaos in that room. I think a skeleton shot the creeper towards me. And then that killed me or something? I don't even know what happened in that situation, but I've now died five times. Um, and I'm not like trying to play stupid just because I have to keep inventory on. I legitimately just don't know what happened. I'm gonna need iron armor before we do anything else. And also, a before I do anything else, I'm gonna go make some stuff. First of all, I don't know why we have this anymore. We definitely don't need it. Also, why on earth? <laughs> We don't have much iron, so we can't do a whole lot, but, like... Anybody know why we still have a freaking pickaxe? Not a pickaxe. A sword made of stone? What in the world am I thinking? And I have so many diamonds, we could just make a diamond sword. I think that is a good investment. And then I'm gonna just, like, force the investment of another diamond pickaxe. Because I know we're gonna need it at some point. Let's put that stuff up. Don't... Oh, we don't any longer need that, either. Okay, hopefully this will be a lot easier. I couldn't make iron armor. What in the world? Oh, I was like, this is not right. I only put a few pieces of deep slate down. 
Okay, now I can take these guys on. Oh, well, they're all dead. No, they're not. There's one behind me, too. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> Why do I have to be so bad? I need some armor, like, desperately. So hopefully this cave will be fruitful in that regard. I'll get enough iron to at least make a, you know, a measly iron set. And I don't have to deal with this anymore, getting killed by skeletons. Now, since this is a deep cave, we're not going to get dirt, but we are going to get diamonds. Let's go. Okay, is there anything behind me? No. And I, I implore you guys to come on the server and try to find my claim. I'm not going to pop my coordinates up anywhere. Hopefully they haven't appeared for some reason. Wait. Did the claims menu show my coordinates? Um... Oh, it shows the chunk coordinates. Okay, so you guys can use that to try to find my base. Come, let's come start an underground society, guys. But I'm going to be kind of secretive about it. I'm going to hide from you guys as best I can. Oh, there's some iron, baby. Let's go. And the good thing about being so deep is that we can also find the big iron pockets. Um, although they are a lot more rare. Okay. Dude, I am not having a good time. Okay, I can take him. I can take him. Why oh, you have full gold armor? I'm trying to just, like, aggro them in a way that I can kill them in a controlled manner. You know what? You guys go ahead and blow up. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. How are you not dead? Oh, no. There's a golden sky. Oh, why am I so bad? Okay. We have full health. I'm confident I can take on one skeleton. Especially if I do him like this and just kind of cheese him a little bit. Okay. That full gold armor is not, not in my favor. There we go. Nice. I can take a creeper on fairly easily. And I am on the lookout for some dirt. And that would be absolutely amazing if I could find dirt. Okay, we're not going that way. <laughs> maybe once we have armor. Maybe we should just stick to our plan and just get dirt. Because um, the only reason I'm really feeling like I need iron armor is because we're in caves. And if we don't go in caves, you know what? Yep, we're just not. We're, we're just going to avoid caving for now because down this deep, it's absolutely treacherous. Maybe we can finally go back in this other direction. Maybe this is easier. I, I, I'm deluding myself if this if I think this is going to be easier. Yeah, it's just a dead end anyways. But hey, at least there's some iron and some gold, which could be helpful. Okay, well, I've found a cave. I've just been digging this staircase up. Please don't do me like this. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. There's so many mobs. I think I see... Uh, either I see skylight or something over here. Something was lighting this area up. Mm. I don't know what it was lighting this up, but it wasn't what I was thinking. Now, hopefully we can pretty soon now find some dirt since we're higher up. At least that's the hope. Oh, oh. <laughs> I completely missed that. But now we have dirt, which is good. We can start farming because, yeah, we have literally one piece of steak left. That's why I didn't want to go caving, too. It's like we didn't have any food. But now we're about to have a ton of food. Let's go, dude. Okay. Well, I would say that was the successful gathering of an entire dirt pocket. And we now have almost a stack. Well, we have about a stack and a half of dirt, which is perfect. And a staircase to get back up here. So let's go make ourselves a farm. Pretty up our base a little bit. And yeah. Okay, the grand reveal. Do we have any more trees? <gasps> well, we have two trees. Let's go. Nice. I was half expecting this to not really work out underground, but I'm pleasantly surprised that the amount of wood we're getting seems to be getting quicker and quicker. Um, or the pace at which we're getting wood is quicker and quicker. So this one gave me zero saplings, like actually zero. And we have one from this one so far. And I'll keep it in my hotbar so you guys can see. Nice. Okay, we got <laughs> we got five saplings from that one. So it's unfortunate because, you know, if you're playing like Skyblock or something and your tree doesn't give you any saplings, well, you're kind of in a world of hurt. But we have a six surplus now. Six whole saplings. So the plan for now is that I'm just going to be like digging out a little bit of... Uh, I'm just going to be digging out a room over here, and uh, obviously this isn't just going to be my mine. I don't know how big of a room we're going to do. I think it'll be the max size for one thing of wheat, 
Um, but we're probably going to want to, again, build it one block up. So, oh no, we're going to have to make a stair. <gasps> oh no, a stair. Um, and yeah, we're just going to make it the maximum size that one wall. Oh, we don't have a water bucket. Ooh, we're going to have to go get that. Okay, so I have the room built in here. And uh, that was, you know, where we went to those lava caves. I'm going to put a ladder and a door there. And then over here is our staircase. And then over here is our strip mine, which I don't know if we'll abandon or we'll leave a door here too. It doesn't really matter. I'll just build some doors and some ladders real quick. And since this room took so long to build, we probably have a bunch of trees too, but we'll, we'll go back to those in just a second here. And for once, it actually makes the amount of doors that I actually need, which is kind of cool. So we'll put a door there, a door there, and a door there. And then just build some ladders up into our staircase. And then we'll build some ladders up into our other area. Nice. Okay. So a few extra ladders, but that's not that bad. So we're going to have to go back up to that higher up cave and probably find some water there. But let's see how many saplings. Big like two so far. Okay. So two saplings. Not bad. And then do we have a tree? Nope. But we do have one here. And we got one sapling from that one, so it's just so random. Oh, no, we, yeah, yeah, just one sapling, because we got two from the other. Cool. Nice. Okay, so we probably have enough wood to build the walls in here now. Um, mm, maybe not, actually. Hmm. See, two stacks, and each one of these is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six by one, two, three, four. So each one of these is 24. About 24. This one's a little bit bigger. So it'll be 48 plus 48, which is 48 is in here. 48 is in here, plus a little bit extra for these walls. I think we might have just enough, actually. Um, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go see if we can get water. If not, we can use one of those dripping drip stones to drip into a cauldron, and that may work too. I forgot. There's so many mobs in here, and I just need to get some water. But, like, it's proving to be very difficult. I have one apple which I would prefer not to lose. I'm trying to just see if I can aggro him and have him walk over here. And then, oop. Okay, okay. Now, I don't see any water yet, but I assume... Well, I'm trying to open my ears in here for water, but I don't hear any. So I guess... Oh, hmm, are any dripstones on the ceiling dripping water? You're not, but I hear more stuff over there. So maybe this cave will, will be a little bit bigger and we can find some water. Okay, well, good thing is that I'm finding a ton of iron. So maybe iron armor isn't out of the picture now. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't really seen... Okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, there's lots of water down there. But there's lots of mobs. I don't really know how I'm going to make this work. Now, this guy is dripping water. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. Um... Now, I mean, to keep inventories on, but I don't want to abuse that. So we need to figure out a way to get down there. Maybe we can do something like dig. Okay, we're going to walk this off. I'm going to dig like a staircase down to there, but I need to go get another pickaxe before we do anything. So, mm, yeah, actually, I don't want to, I don't want to have to run all the way back, but we don't have any coal. So, yeah, we're going to have to anyways, dude. <sighs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at me. Neo, there's water! Okay, so we have a water bucket now. I didn't realize there was just water right there. Is there, is there any more water that I missed so I can have infinite? Maybe. Maybe around this corner. Um, Potentially. I see a glow ink sack like, through the wall over there. So maybe there's some there. I'm hoping this diamond pickaxe still has a good bit of durability. They usually do, even when the durability bar shows as empty. Um, so if you're dripping water, does that mean there's water above you? And man, my health is low. I hear water. Oh, there's water. Oh, oh man, there, there's going to be a mob up here. Please don't. Just, just be nice to me, Minecraft, and I'll love you forever. Oh, wow. How far up does this water go? Just right there? Okay, yoink. We're taking that. And we're now going to leave quietly. No one heard me. I did not take any water. Yes! Okay, cool. So now we have two things of water, and we have infinite water. So the water problem is now solved. Okay, so now we should be able... I'm going to fill this in, because this isn't actually 
here anymore. Um, now we should be able to start planting crops. I think this hoe is about to break, and I don't really know if this is enough to like actually live off of it or anything. Yeah, it's gonna break. So I'll I'll go ahead and plant everything we have there. I mean, obviously, we have a little bit of bone meal. <laughs> I don't know how much that's really gonna help us. How many more seeds can we get? Oh, we can't even plant stuff there because it's too dark. What if I did this and did this? Does that mean I can plant here? Yes, it does. Okay, how many seeds can I get extra? We got not very many. <laughs> if we planted every... Yeah, we didn't get that many. Oh, man. Controversial, I know. But to be fair with you, I think we still have some diamonds in here. Plus, we're going to need this for all these trees that grow. Which I can need to stay on top of, like I said. And I have been so far. Okay, that one gave, I think, two saplings, which is awesome. And now to just kind of plant them sporadically. Supposedly they grow slower if there's nothing like around them. I don't really know how that works or if that works, but now we have somewhat of a wheat field. I hesitate to call it that because it's not really a field, but we're completely out of food. That's that's the downside here. We are literally completely out of food. We don't have any. Um, we can definitely now make ourselves a set of iron armor, which will be perfect. Um, oh, we have a piece of chicken, but it's not enough. Oh, yeah, but that's not enough. Okay, well, I'm going to make or gr at least grab this other iron pickaxe or diamond pickaxe that we had. And we're going to make all of this stuff into wooden planks. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, and that means our base is sort of complete. I mean, we don't have a roof in here, but I don't really know what to do for the roof. Um, maybe that's not the stone cutter. Maybe we could do something different for the roof. Um, you know, we could probably go with some polish, but I'm trying to see if we have any other materials that would look good in the roof. And to be honest with you, we don't have a lot, but we do have cobblestone. Now, some people are like, well, cobblestone doesn't look good as a roof, and obviously you can't do anything to it, but... Maybe for this base in particular, it'll look good. I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to call it an episode here for now. We'll probably want to plant these seeds back. Oh, no. I think they popped up because there is not enough light in here because I broke the wall. But I think our base looks pretty good, I would say. And uh, do we have any more trees? Uh, we do not, but we should soon. I'm going to expand this maybe in between episodes if that's what I do that's what I do but that's probably all I'll do in between episodes so if you guys want to see more of this series please do let me know in the comments below the secret code for today's episode is gonna be 0238 so put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of the video thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode or stream or in the one chug series anyways bye oh yeah and before we leave Let's go ahead and do something that everyone has been asking for. I accidentally stripped a log and I have to wait until we get enough wood to replace one of the pillars. Um, I was trying to put a torch back after I took the screenshots. But look at this, guys. Full set of iron armor. Nice.